Hey, what's up, YouTube family? My name is Paulo Cuspalaya. Guys, thank you so much for clicking on my video today. And today, I'm just going to give a few tips for, uh, for some guys who are looking to strengthen the relationship. Uh, whether you're brand new in a relationship, whether you're married, whether you're dating, whatever the case is, uh, I think it's going to be useful. And, I, and it has worked for me, and I still do it to this day. And it's very effective, and it's taken me out of serious arguments and has helped me understand my wife a lot better. Yeah, I said wife, right? Because you're probably looking at my face right now and you're saying, I mean, what are, what does this little young guy who looks like he's 13 years old have to tell me about a relationship? Well, yeah, I've actually, had, I've actually been married with my wife. We just made a year in April, um, you know, which is not very long. But uh, just a quick summary about our story, you know. Um, when we met, it wasn't like your regular type of relationship. You know, I spent every single day with her for a really long time and then eight months I realized that man this is the girl this is the one I want and you know I think that we make a great couple so I made a decision to propose to her and then you know a few months later into about a year that we've known that we were actually in a relationship I decided to you know make sure we decided as a couple to get married um, so we got married so we spent a lot of time so technically you know we were with each other every single day and if it was it could it's kind of like you know, sometimes a lot of people who are in a relationship, um, they date for four years, but they only see themselves on the weekend. Uh, you know, like us, we were actually seeing each other throughout the whole week. So that's a little summary. Um, so I'm going to get to the tip for the guys, all right? Guys, this is a quick tip. Um, one thing you need to understand about your lady or your wife, your girlfriend, is that women deep down inside have an insecurity about your love for them, all right? Now, uh, you probably have experienced this. Maybe you, you're you brand new or, or maybe you're starting to experience it, but sometimes um, you know, have you ever just, you know, gone out of bed and you, you just roll over and you tell, you, you tell your, your, your girl or your wife or whoever you, you know, your, your significant other, you tell them that you love them. And then like 15, 15 minutes later, they're asking you, like, do you really love me? Like, how much do you love me? And, you know, sometimes as guys, we're like, we, we just told you like, how much we love you. Like, what's going on? And that's really because women always have a deep, deep down, they have an insecurity about your love for them. And sometimes a simple uh, uh, reconfirmation of telling them that you do love them will be will just make make them feel so much better, and it will save you from so many arguments, and I mean so many conflicts, so many withdrawals, whatever the case is. All right, another quick tip for you guys is that sometimes as guys, whenever we're going through an argument, whenever we're just you know we have a lot of stuff going in our mind, the first thing that we do is that we kind of run away. We we decide to go into our caves. And we decide to just block everybody out. We just want to think about what just happened. All right. Now, I used to be like that. And I always, always was in trouble with my wife because of the fact that our, because of the fact that women are deep down insecure about our love. Um, it doesn't make it any better when we walk away from the argument because it hasn't been resolved. So now it's it just it triggers that. And when it triggers that, it makes things a lot worse. So quick tip, whenever you're feeling like that, something that has helped me. Is something very simple. Whenever I feel like I need my time alone, instead of just walking away and just going to my room or going whenever or hanging out with my friends, whatever the case is, I decide to tell my wife. I look at her into the eyes and I say, "Baby, I love you. I love you a lot. You know that, right? But uh, I'm gonna need some time, so I'm gonna I'm, I'm I'm gonna go away for now for a little bit. Okay, I need my time, my space. But I just want to let you know that I love you. Just need some time to think about what just happened, and when I come back." Let's, let's, uh, I'll share with you my thoughts. So something as simple as that, guys, can be very, very, very useful. I mean, has saved me from tons of arguments and overall it has strengthened my relationship with my wife. Um, and you know, like any other relationship, it's always something that you always have to fight for. You know, it's something that you constantly have to make sure that you're recommitting yourself daily. Uh, especially nowadays, you know, a lot of people are so afraid to commit. The divorce rate is crazy, crazy high. But I want to let you guys know that there is hope and that there's always uh, there's always a way out, man. There's always a way to make things better, right? So, guys, uh, so if you guys are looking to get married or you guys are looking to just maybe spoil your girl or take them out on a date and you've, you're looking at your pockets and you're kind of saying, well, I don't have cash to do a lot of those things, you know? And like myself, there used to be a lot of times where, you know, a certain occasion would pop out, maybe like an anniversary or, or a birthday. And in my mind, I had this extravagant uh, way of celebrating her day and I was never able to do it and that was so frustrating because it's like man I really want to give my girl everything I want to show her how much I love her and the fact that I wasn't able to provide that it's sometimes it kind of hurt 
it hurt me as a man. Even though there's so many different ways you can go about it, you can be so creative and, and, and you know, your, your wife will love you. It's always good to spoil your wife. It's always good to just do something that you've probably never done, guys. So if you're feeling that way and you're feeling like you're kind of strapped, you're a little tight on cash, um, I want you to click on the link below, guys, because when you click on the link below, it's actually going to show you how you can actually start getting paid from simply blogging or talking about things like I'm talking about now, things that you'd like to talk about. Um, and by doing so, you're able to get paid on it, guys. So click the link below, submit your email. Once you submit your email, guys, I'm going to get back to you. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you some of the information that uh, I stumbled upon that has completely changed my life and has given me the, the, the leverage to do you know a lot of the things that I wasn't able to do before. All right. Once you once you submit your email, it's going to take you to a bonus video that's going to be completely free, guys. And it's going to be something really powerful. And you guys are going to be learning exactly how you can actually start making money from blogging, from video blogging, and from just simply doing the things that we already do. Just having a simple conversation, adding value to people, and talking to you kind of like the same way I'm talking to you. Once you see the video, guys, I want you guys to make the decision to join the team, guys. All right. I hope this is useful, guys. I'm logging out. Take care.